Hey guys, it is Brooke from Grieving Mommy and I just wanted to do a quick video today about something that some viewers and some other people, actually my family, have asked me about and that is what we did with Libby's remains. Um, it's kind of unique what we did. I hadn't heard of it honestly until she died and we had to make this decision. Um, and once we found out about it, it was sort of like we knew exactly that that was the right thing to do. So I'm just going to share with you what we did in case you are in the unfortunate situation where you need to figure out what to do with the remains of your loved one. So typically different cultures and different people have different traditions of what they do with someone's body who dies. You know, when I grew up, everyone was just buried in the ground and you'd go visit the headstone and, and pay your respects and that was just what everyone did. And then as I grew up, cremation became more popular and actually got a little more popular, I think, than the typical burial that, that I was used to growing up. Um, when Libby died, we assumed that we were going to have her cremated. I had figured that, you know, I have in my will when I die that I wanted to be cremated. And we were walking through the funeral home looking at the urns for her and came across this pamphlet with a little display of what they called memorial stones. So memorial stones, I had never heard of it. I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, is that like explain what this is? And the funeral director explained that what happens is your loved one is cremated and then they are sent off to a facility where they actually turn your loved one's remains into stones. Um, and I have an example here. So this is an example of one of Libby's stones. And you can see it is just really, really pretty. Um, it's nice and soft and smooth. And as soon as my ex-husband David and I saw the option for doing the stones, we both just looked at each other and we were like, that's it. <laughs> like we just, we knew, we knew right away that that's what we wanted to do. Part of the reason for that is because Libby collected rocks and she had her own collection of all of these stones and she loved taking them out and looking at them and that was something that we did together is we have this gem store that's kind of near our house and you know everywhere that they had like little gems and stones we'd always let her pick a couple out and that was just something that she really really enjoyed so the whole stone thing kind of fit her personality and and we just thought right away that that's something that she just would have absolutely loved um and again i had never heard of it before and it was like oh my gosh that is perfect for her more importantly though the main reason that i like it is you know i have i have other people's cremated remains at my house i have my dad's ashes and and I like the idea of sprinkling the ashes. That's what we did with my dad and my stepmom. But I love this idea because a lot of times the urns just kind of get, you know, sat on a, you know, <laughs> sat in a dresser somewhere or put somewhere in like a display case or, you know, God forbid, just like hidden somewhere in a back of a closet because people think it's weird to have, you know, ashes sitting out and, and it kind of loses that connection with your loved one. Whereas these stones, I honestly carry this with me all the time. And it just keeps that bond and connection going with Libby. And I absolutely love that. So that is my favorite part of these stones. It is actually really surprising. I mean, Libby was a little 10 year old girl and I can show you. So I have this one here. And then we actually gave out a bunch of the stones to um, different people in the family. And we gave some to her dance family and her old daycare teacher, like people who loved her, you know, so much. And now they can, they can carry around a part of her. Um, and they love that too. And what was left over is still a lot. So if you can see, if you can see. So this is what I have the rest of the stones in. And I kind of made this display. The, the rest of the stones that are in there are Libby's rock collection. So she is kind of nestled in here along with her rock collection. And, 
and I feel like like that would make her smile like she would like that um so I keep this actually in my room. I have a little stand for it and I have some of her pictures behind it. And honestly, like I look at this one, I kind of say good morning to the pictures every morning and I, and I, you know, give this a little rub every morning. But the singular ones like this, I have two that I keep out. One is beside my bed and the other one is this one that just travels with me. So I put it in my pocket all the time and I take it along if I'm in a stressful situation. It's almost like a worry stone um, where I just kind of rub it and it's, you know, it's almost comforting. I know she's not with me, but it's kind of like she's with me. When we went on vacation, I, I took this along and, you know, it, it was my way of just bringing her with us on vacation. So I personally, like if you're thinking of something to do or if you have, you know, cremated remains and you and you don't know what to do with them or you aren't, you know, displaying them like you would like to be, I recommend this so much. We did it through the funeral home, but you can actually, I am not sponsored. These people do not know me. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. And I think there's multiple companies that do this. The one that did ours is called Parting Stone. So you can reach them at partingstone.com. Like I said, we did it through the funeral home. So we never had Libby's ashes. They just sent the ashes directly to the Parting Stone company. And then within a few weeks, we had these back. And basically, um, I looked on the website kind of how they do it. And it's just sort of like pressure pressure treated. So they take the ashes, they mix in a little bit of some sort of um, adhesive and then it's like pressure that holds it all together and I mean it is like an actual rock you can run it under water and it's not going to dissolve or anything like that I mean I have it with me like all the time and I'm constantly rubbing it and holding it and kissing it and doing things with it and it is really held up sometimes it gets like fingerprints and you can like rub it off the other really cool thing kind of a side note but I it's cool and a little bit weird. The stones can turn out different colors depending on your loved one's remains. And I guess whatever the acidity and things like that in, in the ashes are. So Libby's all came out like this beautiful, clean white color. Um, but on the website, it says, you know, some of them are more gray, like an actual stone. But they've even had people come back with like a purplish tint or a pinkish tint. Um, and yeah, it's kind of interesting. We were we were waiting, it was one of those things like, I wonder what color her stones are gonna be. But the majority of them end up like this, kind of this pale, pale white color. I, again, people have asked me, I thought it might be something, you know, that you might be interested in. And honestly, one of the best decisions that I ever made. I, I love, everything about this idea. Obviously, I freaking hate losing my daughter, but I feel like this is the best way I could have thought of to honor her. And, and I think she would be happy with this decision. So I hope this was helpful. Again, not sponsored or anything, but check out Parting Stone if you are looking for something to do with your loved one's remains and you want to carry a piece of, around, piece of them around with you um, and always have them kind of near you. All right, I will check you guys later and see you again in the next video. Sending love and hugs. Bye.